Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another exciting episode of All About You. Actually, today's segment won't be as exciting because there was an incident in this past Nationals. 2019, in the Dragon Ball Super Card game, I was DQ'd officially. Now, I went live on Facebook groups, I spoke about the matter, and, you know, just wanted to shed light on what happened. This ended up getting blown out of proportion. There was already action taken as far as what happened to me and what transpired at the event. Nothing else is going to happen after this period, this point in time. I was already DQ'd. They pulled me to the side. They told me their reasoning. I didn't agree with it, but it is what it is, you know, and I was at fault. I'm not going to sit here and talk about how I was done unfairly or done wrong. No, I said things that I shouldn't have said in one of my matches against Daniel, one of my opponents in during round four. And they took action after round five and I was DQ'd. So obviously, you know, I ended up going live to talk about the situation because a lot of players, you know, a lot of you guys, you know, were disappointed. I know individuals, especially people from my Patreon and a lot of my following, I know you guys were let down and I do apologize because, you know, me being in top cut or in the finals or whatever, you know, it would have been awesome to play against Brian Samuel or the other person who made the finals with him. It would have been awesome. It would have been great to be at that platform competing for, you know, first place of nationals. And I know a lot of you guys look forward to that, especially we all know I'm the loudest, you know, we all know I'm the loudest person in the community. And, you know, I like to make things entertaining. I like things to be fun and everyone fired up. We all know this. However, I messed up and I'm going to own up to it. It is what it is. I ended up going out for game with a, at all cost Vegeta, you know, was about to win the match, but time was called when I was comboing, as I was comboing, time was called, and I ended up finishing, flushing out my hand on the table, and I told my opponent, I was like, could you out combo this? And he said no. And from my perspective, I felt cheated. And I stated that before, and it was the feeling that I had because I didn't agree with the time procedures. However, rules are the rules. It is what it is, right? So anyways, I did make a statement of telling my opponent that he should have given me the win. I stated, you should give me the win. I beat you, you know, it's done along those lines. And, you know, my opponent obviously didn't feel the need to. He didn't have to, you know. Now, from perspectives, I would have appreciated if he would have honored the game, since there were moments that he played slow. There were moments I played slow as well. I'm not going to just sit here and say, oh, my opponent was the only one slow playing. However, when that 10 minute mark was called, where we only had 10 minutes to go through the three, turn, uh, the three turns, he played exceptionally slow and other players witnessed that. Obviously, other individuals will say certain things that will be against me. We, are, we all know how this community is. We have a lot of individuals that do not like me and they have their reasoning. We all know that me being a individual that outperforms most in events is not something that some people enjoy. You know, they don't like the cocky person doing well. They don't like the shit talker to outperform other individuals that they may like more. We all know this, but that's besides the fact. The reality was... I ended up making a statement to my opponent that I shouldn't have. And I even added to that additional comment later on when I was taking up the match slip with my opponent. And I told him, you should have given me the win. I would have made it worth your while. If he would have given me the win because I beat him, if he would have given me the win, I would have given him something because I would have appreciated that he honored our game and that he did not use time or time wasn't the factor of why it became a draw. Since we were in the final moments of the game and he was going to lose. It's not like I, I felt like I had game. It's not like there was another scenario where I'm like, oh, I had the advantage and if we would have kept playing, I would have won. No, the scenario was I was going in for game. I was comboing out my hand and time was called. 
and time was called during the point where we had time. We were already in time and the final countdown of time was called, okay? Now, in the past, in other Dragon Ball Super events that I have attended, and I know many of you have attended as well, there was a procedure where if you were in the combo step, you were allowed to finish the combo step. They allowed the final attack to go through. If it's game, great. Then the match would end based off of that decision. And if you both still had life remaining, then it would still be a draw, which makes sense. But that was the final attack. We were already in the combo step. We were already in the action and I wasn't able to complete the action, okay? As you can see, someone would be very frustrated. In my case, I was extremely frustrated and that has never happened to me before, okay? So me being in that situation, I felt cheated. I felt like, damn, you know, we were right there at the finish line. I had game on my opponent. My opponent confirmed game because my opponent, I asked him, could you have out combo this? And my Vegeta was hitting over 100K. Could you have out combo this? And he said, no. He only had about five cards in hand, from what I recall. But anyways, point of this video is, at least the first part of this video, is to apologize to you guys. I am sorry, because I know you guys were looking forward to me being in top cut and performing for the bigger pricing. And instead, I ended up having an additional draw, which was going to bump me out of the top 16, because I, was, or I already had two draws, and I had my wins prior to, and... That round four was a deciding factor for me not being able to make top 16, which is why I felt cheated because my other draws, as you guys know, I didn't complain. You notice I didn't make a video of saying, oh, my other opponent slow played or one of my opponents did this and that. No. Round four against Daniel, we had a major issue in our match. And what happened happened and it is what it is. Again, I can't change anything the DQ happened, and I understand why, from their perspective, they needed to take action. Now, moving forward, Eggman came out with a video. Now, this person has always had a vendetta for me. If you ever watched any of his videos, you can see in some of the times where he mentions my name, because I'm in quite a few of his videos as far as him doing, you know, deck analysis or just profiles of the winning decks or the top decks that performed for whatever weekend, whatever event that was held. He always throws shade in how he speaks about me, whether it's talking about my previous AC performance when I won or now creating a video. Now, he made this video that many of you probably already have seen. I am very... The words that expresses my discontent is great. I'm not gonna, gonna keep it 100. I really did not appreciate what you did. And basically, he made it seem as if he interviewed me. However, he never asked permission to share that chat. He asked me questions and prior to, he made it seem as if he was concerned like, what happened, Anthony? That sucks. You know, like, in that notion. And he asked me, can I ask you some questions? Because obviously, many people will say different things. We already know how rumors spread. And a lot of the rumors that surround my name are not true. But in this case, I decided to share information with Hayden, which is the owner of the channel Eggman. And I trusted that he would be upfront and just wanted to know what was going on with me so that he would have a better understanding. Not that he was going to make a video about what I said, not that he was going to share private conversations. When he shared those private conversations, did you guys see any, at any point of me giving him permission to do so? You didn't because he never asked. He never said, hey, Anthony, would you mind me interviewing you? I'm going to put this conversation we have up on my YouTube channel. Would you mind? No. He did everything in a deceitful manner, and I do not approve of that. And if that ever happens to any of you guys, and it has something to do with tarnishing your name as a content creator or a public figure of any sort, you need to do something about it. 
why would you share confidential information? I trusted you, you know, and it's, it's pretty disgusting because it's like, I know you've been a hater low key in the past, especially with some of your videos, but why would you do something illegal? Like it, it doesn't make any sense. You knowing damn well that you are sharing some information that the public wasn't supposed to see. Especially when I shared what I would have done for that player. You used that against me. I said what I would have done to show my gratitude towards that individual. For giving me the win when I deserved it. I had game on my opponent. And I expressed that several times in my live feed and even during that conversation. But instead, you chose to use certain points and manipulate my wording and twist it around to make it seem like I offered a bribe and that I offered prior to the match beginning, prior to the conclusion of our game. However, the context, and this is the thing that I'd like to tell people, when you change the context of something, it can be seen in a very negative way. If I had the intentions of doing something nice for someone because they honored our game and I decided, hey, I might give him some packs or I might do something where I would maybe shout his name out on my channel, give him thanks, go live and say, hey, you know what, Daniel? You know, we had a great game in round four. It ended up going to the wire. I had game on him. Time was called and Daniel conceded because he knew he lost the match. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to give Daniel a pack or I'm going to show him gratitude by bringing him up on my live feed or even in a video, in a YouTube video like this. I could have been saying, you know what? I want to give shout outs to Daniel. He was a very honorable opponent. He, I had game on him. He ended up conceding because we did go into time and he did something that other players did not have to do. But instead, ended up reporting me for what I would have done, not what I did. There was never once an offer. There was never once something that I labeled like, hey, I'm going to give you cards or hey, I'm going to give you money if you give me the win. No because this would be talking about beforehand. This was after the fact that I even hinted that I would have done something as a compensation and not based off of the premise of him giving me the win, just based off the premise of him doing something that I would have felt honorable. Like, wow, you gave me the win because you saw that I beat you, but you didn't have to in that context. The context of I would have given you something for you being a upstanding person. But anyways, that's besides the fact because what's done is already done. I already got DQ'd. I served my punishment and it's a lesson learned where I will not ever talk to any opponent that I have about anything I would have done or any of anything of that fashion. And it taught me a valuable lesson of making sure that I play faster because yes, I could have played faster in the in the beginning of those games, like game one, game two, leading up to that 10 minute mark. If I would have played faster, the game would have been over. Or if I would have called judge and called my opponent on slow playing, the game would have been over. I could have done one or the other. I could have played faster or I could have called the judge over to make sure that the game was moving at an adequate pace or even asked for extension of time if I felt that my opponent was slow playing, which he was at certain points of the game, especially towards the end. And you know you were, Daniel. But that's neither here nor there because obviously things were twisted around and Eggman, you did something very, very shameful. And I am going to, you know, I messaged him. So for everyone watching this video, I already have messaged you. And based on your answer, it's going to be based on what I'm going to do on this situation. You creating a video and bad mouthing me, no problem. You, you know, interviewing Daniel and wanting to hear his side of the story after I went live about the situation, no problem. But how dare you use our private conversation against me? How dare you? You literally 
manipulated what I said in your own wording and used our conversation that was private to show your perspective, to try to say, hey, this is why he got DQ'd and I wouldn't be quote unquote surprised if he was banned for this. Your intentions are to not only ban me, but to discredit my performances at events. You are trying to take me down, tear my image down. But anyways, again, I'm very sorry to you guys, my supporters, the individuals who watch my videos and the Patreons. You guys rock. You guys are awesome. And there are going to be new videos coming up. In fact, I will have a new video coming up tonight for you guys because I appreciate everything that you have done. I appreciate you, Chris. You know who you are. He lent me two Gokus that I needed for the tournament. I appreciate Juan. You know who you are. You lent me cards for this past event. I will be doing a deck profile very soon within the next day or two from my performance at Nationals. My overall record ended up being two wins and three draws before I was disqualified. If things would have been honored, I would have been three wins and two draws and I would have continued playing with the opportunity of making top 16, which as we all know, if I would have made in top 16, everything would have been completely different because my record would have been X02. And my final record would have been six wins and two draws, which would have landed me in the top eight slots. Not just in the top 16, but in the top eight. But unfortunately, things went down this way. Because of you, Eggman, I ended up getting dropped from my team. So I'm letting you know now, message me as soon as possible. I want to hear your answers based on the questions that I sent you. And from there, I will decide what's going to happen of how far this is going to go because that what you did was uncalled for. And even other individuals that don't even know who I am or that may not even like me have messaged you about it and have commented on your YouTube channel and commented on Facebook groups letting you know what you have done was wrong. And many individuals have also brought up to your attention unless you haven't been paying attention as to, hey, did you even ask Anthony if it was okay to put that information out there of our private conversations? You can't answer that, can you? But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. And as always, this channel is all about you.